Hi guys, it's a North Sleeve. Today we got a little recipe for you. Stick around, it's gonna be something you're gonna probably wanna try because it is pretty darn good. We'll be right back. All right guys, we're gonna start to uh, make the grandma's famous chili dog casserole. The grandma's casserole is what we're gonna make. This is very good, and I think that anyone of you who watch this, if you make it, you can change things a little bit to the way you like it, but it is one of the best dishes I've had in a while, and it falls under the VSG cooking laws, where it's high in protein, low in carbs, and it tastes really good. So stay tuned here, and we'll uh, get her going. All right, here's what we have for our ingredients. Uh, the first thing we're gonna use is a pound of grown turkey, which is 85% lean, 15% fat. And as you see here, this has 220 calories, 95 milligrams of sodium, and 19 grams of protein. That's pretty darn good. We'll give you a little look at the macros on here. I'm not sure yet if I'll do the macros and put them in the, in the description, um, but uh, if I, you know, I might, and I might not, I'm not sure yet. Then we'll, um, what I'm going to use is a uh, another turkey sausage, but it's it's actually taco seasoning turkey sausage, which adds a lot of flavor. And that's got 130 calories, 9 grams of fat only, and 340 milligrams of sodium. And there's the macros on that as well. So you see it's pretty good. You get 10 grams of protein in there. Six servings in here, so that, you know, that adds up. That's like 60 grams of protein as well as the other, uh, the regular turkey sausage. You have four servings in that pound, so you have, you know, 20, 40, 60, almost 80 grams of protein in there. Then here's the uh, hot dogs I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Jenny O Turkey Franks, which uh, are good as well. They have 70 calories, 390 grams or milligrams of sodium, and four grams, four grams of protein. And there's the macro breakdown on those, if you can see it. And then I'm also going to use some of these uh, cheddar smoked sausage. I haven't tried these before, but I'm just going to use them because they probably add a little bit of extra flavor. And uh, there's the macros on those babies. I guess I really didn't look at these too well, but they'll, they'll be fine in there. And... Uh, Anyways, that's that. And then we're gonna use uh, uh, green pepper and a red bell pepper. And then we're gonna use a little bit of mild cheddar cheese and a little bit of extra sharp cheddar cheese, as well as some um, tomato sauce and a little bit of tomato paste. And a little bit of uh, mild chili mix from McCormick. And that's part of the ingredients and we'll start to get them cooking here in a minute. Okay guys, here we've got the uh, two pounds of turkey sausage cooking in one pan. I got my second pan ready here with a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. And I got my peppers ready to cut up. And of course, I, how could I forget to tell you before, but you gotta add an onion. You gotta have onions on chili dogs. So what we're gonna do next is cut those up. We're gonna brown and, and saute those in a separate pan. Uh, not with the meat quite yet, but we will put them in with the meat in a little bit. There's the macros on the cheese, by the way. Forgot to show that earlier, so just shows you what, uh, what, what that's got to offer for the meal. And that pack, and I got the second pack here. Now, I won't use both of them totally, but I'll probably use most of it. Okay, so here we have all the peppers and the onions cut up, diced up kind of small, and ready to go in the frying pan to saute it for a little bit. Probably saute them for, I don't know, six, seven minutes. I don't do it very long, just so they get nice and uh, flavorful, I guess. They blend their flavors together, but I don't like brown them or anything like that, so they stay, uh, they don't get real soft or anything like that, so they stay pretty good. Okay guys, we got the sausage cooking here. It's just about done, ready for all the mixture to go in it. 
And we still got the uh, peppers and onions uh, sauteing a little bit over here in the other pan. And we're going to shut those off in a second and just let them sit for a little while before we add it to the hamburger. And then I'm also going to uh, turn on the oven to 400 degrees preheat and get ready to bake this in a little bit for about 25 to 30 minutes. So that's where we're at. So what we're going to add here is probably about a half a packet of this chili mix. I had it laying in the cupboard before. I used the other half the last time I made it. So we'll pour that in there. Um, actually, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the other one in there. The other one we're going to add a little bit more on there. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're, gonna okay, and we're also going to put in a little Worcestershire sauce. And the same thing, about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon or so, but I don't measure it. I just sprinkle it in there a little bit, give her a little bit of flavor. And then, of course, another one of Grandma's old favorite uh, secret recipes in her little dishes were to add a little bit of sweetener in there. So since I don't use sugar, I'm just going to use sweetener, though it's a zero-calorie sweetener. And we're just going to dump that little packet that you're using to mix a, a cup of coffee with. We're going to mix that in there with the meat mix as well. That just adds a little extra flavor. Okay, so now we're going to take the old tomato sauce and dump it in there. I normally will drain that turkey, but I put some water in there and it cooked down to almost no uh, fats left in there. So now I'm just going to pour about three quarters of that tomato sauce in there. And this is a uh, 15 ounce container or can of it. So I'm probably going to put, I don't know, close to 10 ounces, I guess, in there, just a hair more, but not all of it. And then I'm going to take probably about three, two to three ounces of the tomato paste and put it in there. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. You can see I just added a little bit of tomato paste in there, and we're going to stir that around. That's just going to add a little thickness to it. And uh, now we're going to let this cook for a while. And then after it's cooked and mixed in well, we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes on the stove. Okay, so now I just turned it way down. I'm going to let this simmer for a while, let the flavors blend in with the uh, turkey sausage. And then over here, I've got the sautéed peppers and onion just sitting here, uh, blending together too, and pretty soon we'll add it all up. But next, we're going to cut up the hot dogs in little chunks and mix it in with the hamburger, or excuse me, the turkey sausage. This pack of uh, turkey hot dogs, we have 10 hot dogs that I'm going to cut up into pieces. And then the other one here, we have six, which they're a little bit bigger. So all in all, we got a pretty uh, pretty fair amount of little hot dog bites that we're going to have in there. But ooh, it's going to be so good. And Grandma was so right. So here we have all the hot dogs sitting out on the cutting board. I'm just going to cut them up into pieces. Uh, you can cut them up any way that you think that you like them. But I like cutting them up into small, small pieces. Um, you can leave big chunks or whatever. It's up to you. But it is oh so good. Okay, so there's all our uh, hot dog pieces cut up, and now I'm just going to add them all to the uh, the hamburger meat or the I keep saying hamburger, the uh, turkey meat that's been simmering. And then once we add the hot dogs to the uh, turkey meat, we'll throw in all the peppers and onions, mix it all together, and let it simmer for a little bit. So here's what the uh, hot dogs look like. We're just going to slowly mix it in with the turkey meat a little bit, so it all blends together. This cooks for a little bit, doesn't it? You don't have to cook it for very long at all, but I just like to let her sit for a little bit and blend all together and get a little bit warmed up before you throw it in the oven, I guess. But anyway, it's not real tough. You just mix her up a little bit and that's about it. And now we'll uh, put in the uh, peppers, onions, and get it all blend together. There we have it all mixed in with the onions and peppers in there, and I also added the rest of that uh can of tomato sauce so that's 15 ounces of tomato sauce i used in total so i ended up using the whole can instead of just part of it and i'll just let it sit there for a little bit and simmer before we put it in the oven okay so now we got a what nine by 12 or nine by 13 glass baking dish we'll spray a little bit of uh cooking oil on there a little bit and then we'll add it all in there in layers and uh put it in the oven here pretty quick so here we're just going to take uh, a couple scoops of the meat mixture, throw it in the bottom of the uh, baking dish, spread it out a little bit, and 
And then we're gonna add some cheese on top of that and just keep layering it. So here's some cheese, we're gonna take it and put it over it. Okay, and now I'll put another layer of meat on there. And just kind of spread it again and evenly. You could probably throw it all in there at one time and mix it, but it just seems to work a little bit easier you do it this way. So you get more even measurements of cheese and meat and stuff in there. So now I'll put some more cheese on there. And this is sharp, extra sharp cheddar cheese, I think. Gotta have cheddar cheese with chili dogs. We'll save a little bit more of that and we'll put some of the uh, a bit of the mild cheddar on there now. A little thicker chunks of cheese. Oh, doesn't that look good? Oh, I just think how good that's going to be. And add some more meat. Okay, so here we pretty much have the finished product. It's all ready. The cheese, I didn't use all the cheese. I used most of the uh, uh, mm. extra cheddar cheese or whatever, the sh extra sharp cheddar cheese. I used a whole pack of that, and then I used probably three quarters of the mild cheddar cheese, but I didn't use it all. I could easily put it all on there, but I'm just not going to. But now all we're going to do is throw it in the oven on 400 degrees for about a half hour or so until the cheese gets all nice and golden. And in a few minutes, or in a little bit when it's done, we'll show you what the end product looks like. Fresh out of the oven, that is Grandma's Chili Dog Casserole. Can't wait to try it. It is very, very good. If you try this recipe, I promise you, you will make it more than once. Well, guys, that's going to about do it for uh, Grandma's Chili Dog Casserole. Um, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. I sure hope you try it and I'm pretty sure if you try it You're gonna like it and make it more than once So as of that we'll call it a night and we'll see you the next time and if you feel like it like comment and subscribe to the North Sleeve. Thanks